Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest trends, stories, and innovations from thought leaders in the digital infrastructure industry. And we are coming to you live from the Lone Star Big Allergy State of Austin, Texas. That's right. Howdy. Uh, howdy. My allergies are as big as the sky is here in Texas right now. But that's but that's the and that's the bad news. Everything else is good news. Uh, good news, including the hostess with the mostest. My co-host Kelly Stark is with me and we are going to re recap uh, day 1 of Data Data Cloud USA here in Austin. In Texas for you right now and give you a little sneak peek of what we might be seeing on day two. Kelly, how did day one go for you? Well, I'm from Dallas, so no allergies were bothering me. Congratulations. We're used to this. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a beautiful day here and everyone here was excited. We had a lot of good topics about yeah. sustainability, energy, talent in the workplace, and co-located was a women in tech conference. Yep. And so uh, Courtney Burroughs and I went and met some beautiful ladies over there. And uh, she's actually even going to host a panel today there. So that's exciting. Very exciting. And I'm with you. I took a, a couple of notes yesterday. As expected, we uh, we heard a lot about AI, uh, next-gen workforce, as you said, sustainability. A couple of other, we'll call them subtopics um, around all three of those, of those uh, marquee subjects, ecosystems and the importance of ecosystems in making any of those three things work, be it sustainability, AI, or next-gen uh, workforce. It takes uh, an ecosystem kind of all collaborating and working and kind of rowing in the same direction to make any of that work. And so we are, we are, we are hearing more about ecosystems. Um, uh, change management, uh, specifically as it relates to sustainability and and the fact that a, a, a reasonable and rational sustainability uh, objective doesn't really look like all in or not in at all, but more of a of a of a trajectory where we are where we are um, combining multiple energy sources, including fossil fuels, as a way to begin to offset our um, near total reliance on fossil fuels. Um, so it is it it all seems much more reasonable, rational um, than it did you know three, four, five years ago. I agree. I was really impressed with some of the input from some of the people that you're going to be on a panel with today, yeah. not to steal their show, yeah. but like Pat Patricia LeVay, she was really sharing that approach. Like it That's has right. to be a combination. You can't go all of a sudden to just mm -hmm. renewable energy sources, obviously. And um, there was a lot of good discussions about how to make it a win-win mm -hmm. for everybody. Yeah. Now we took all of the uh, kind of took all of the punches early on um, and, and began to iron, iron it out and kind of shake it off and, and figure out a, uh, a really positive and uh, fruitful way forward with regard to sustainability and some of the uh, green energy initiatives and things like that. So a lot of, uh, again, AI, next gen workforce, sustainability, um, uh, all, all of those great things. I suspect we will see more of that today. Uh, uh, we have some great lineup today. So yes, for sure. We're going to hear from those people. It is, it is a great and very busy lineup today, isn't yes, it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, um, uh, to your point, also the panel that I'm speaking on, uh, went from uh, 20 minutes now to 40 minutes, which means we get to kind of blow out the discussion even more. My good friend, Jeff Barber, who's sitting just be, uh, behind the, the camera is on that panel as well. He's already kind of filling my head with lots of really Really, really great yes. ideas uh, uh, to kind of to carry on the conversation today. So I'm very excited about that. Um, the food's been good too. Yes. Yeah. I, of course I, it is because we're in Texas. My stomach is definitely a Texan because <laughs> <laughs> because I'm all of I'm as carnivorous as they come. The brisket uh, was really really good here. Um, so yeah, truly enjoying it. Um, yes. And uh, Kelly, can't wait to, uh, to to do a recap at the end of the day today and talk all about all of the great things that we uh, that we learned today. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds good to me too. So uh, thank you for viewing. Stick with us today. Day two of Data Cloud USA will be here all day long. Uh, so make sure that you uh, you stay connected, that you stay happy, healthy, that you stay dreaming, and that you are happy in all of your networking objectives today. We'll see you real soon. Bye, y'all. <laughs>